Hamzaidi Channel tuko moja kwa moja chuo kikuu cha Dar es Salaam hapa ni jengo la Confishers humo ndani ndo kuna mdaharo ambao unaendelea pembeni yangu hapa nipo na Jifti yeye ni miongoni mwa watu ambao wamefika hapa ni moja kati ya wadau ambao wamechangia hoja ambayo imewekwa mezani siku hii ya leo atajitambulisha anaitwa nani alafu tutajadiliana naye kwa ufupi ili tupate kuyafahamu mingi ambayo wewe huyajui ila mimi na, na yeye tunayafahamu karibu madam Jifti asante ndio what is your name my name is Gift Gift Ellen Ruemamu. Na Umesema power of education kwenye transformation kwenye uasili wa Africa kuwa Africanacity. Mm. Tukuiga mifano huko mbele. Kwa nini tunaamini kwenye nguvu ya elimu na sio nguvu nyingine kama walivyokuwa wanazungumza pale wachangiaji wengine? Can I say it in English? Yeah, you go. Oh, well, I, I believe in the transformative power of education. Yaani kwa sababu it's evident in our society. Yaani ukiangalia different yani different uh, let's say different qualities of education ambayo different people wanapokea. In other places kama the education system ina promote and it can labda the students wanafanya the exercise wenyewe and it, there's, a, there's a quality of education that other people can get and by it is directly influencing their values and even their behaviors and if if in class mnafundishwa labda mnapewa a lot of emphasis labda kwenye kufanya your kazi zenu wenyewe cleaning up and nini 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 in the end of the day that's in a letter and it builds more independent people more any any more independent more disciplined people so any education has a lot of a lot in a big part to play kija kwenye forming the values of people and kama wewe in in the education system ambao wewe umepokea maybe it's all about it didn't stress too much labda on the entrepreneurship yani like you didn't even know entrepreneurship ni nini labda in the education system you received there was not there was nothing like speaking in front of a group of people so and you didn't get the chance to labda any you don't see any emphasis labda you didn't even get the chance to practice public speaking on in the end of the day as you grow up unakuwa ni you are you're a different person kuliko ile ile receive a certain education system ambayo ina promote those kind of values and those kind of behaviors that's why i think any there's a kind of a difference between us developing countries and the developed countries kwa mfano for them unakuta labda at a certain age when then the education system is so diverse but those those the kids and what not when I want a lot of opportunities to say me through the education system a lot of values when I quite emphasized on them and but it is different kuja huko sisi kwetu so it's kind of and there's a lot of power in education but we don't utilize okay hitting in the point you uh, you have you have you have told the majority there that uh, we have to get an uh, example from these two countries mm. China and Japan mm. why China and Japan and other other countries Well uh, specifically I was talking about Japan because the Japanese yani, themselves are the people as a society they are very they are very much quality oriented they are very disciplined people and yani, that's a, it's, a, it's almost even I can say a fact and yani, in the society kwamba then in domana yani, we have a lot of these cars nini what not they're from Japan those guys are very quality oriented very disciplined very yani, you think us as Tanzania together uh, to, 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 to be uh, kufanya kama vile ambavyo wanavifanya wao kule kutatusaidia sisi ku develop I think yani yani yes in fact yes kwa sababu yani there are sometimes of any there are subtypes there are type there are types of values and there's a certain values ambazo yani they they they're relating to the level or degree of your success and kama sisi let's say nini if we don't yani as if if as a people if as a country we don't value things like critical thinking no na kwa mfano take an example this is another example like a country like in Botswana or South Africa nini Oh, in, I don't know a lot of but those are my, my two examples that I know for sure where kids maybe in school and in the education system wanakuwa na and even Zimbabwe wanakuwa like they have a special sense special sense you know, studies kuhusu debating debating critical thinking public speaking in Tanzania that's not even a cause it's not even in our syllabus paka mtu wenyewe ndo katafute labda all those other competitions mwenyewe ndo kaji okay, for our viewers ambao wanakutazama sasa hivi they need to get a comment from you pengine ni, wa, ni wazazi wanakutazama au wadau mbalimbali na wamepata point kutoka uh, katika kitu ulichokizungumza una maoni gani kwao well if if there's a parent or maybe a student I'm gonna listening to, right, to me right now and I'd really like to put more emphasis on the values but if you're a parent and you try to emphasize certain values on your kids naona don't any so any we are we are taking labda punctuality we are taking it for granted as Tanzanian people tumechelewa somewhere and we're like oh Tanzania no values like punctuality should we should any as parents can try to emphasize them on our kids 
and as people, as children and as youth, this when we see there's a certain value or a certain behavior we are lacking, we see when to emphasize it on ourselves. Thank you so much. Well, when Madam Gift and Baya Matupidisha Gadika education na thamani ya elim na thamani ya etu sisi wa Africa. Ili kuyafikia yale maendeleo. Tuna mengi ambao tutayazungumza leo. Mimitu ni mshukuru kwa mda wake huu na ni kusihi salia nasi kwa ni bado mazuri ya naendelea. Jina langu ni Victor Ford mwaka bungu. Tafadhari salia nasi. Santa Santa. Problem through technology so that you can solve SDG number two goals which is zero hunger. So thank you so much for your contribution. Welcome, my former director. Chief Tiro Imam, the second speaker. Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, I want us to look at this from a very different perspective. In fact, a philosophical one. I want to take us back, like really way back, all the way to 400 BC, where the ideas that shaped the education system that we have today were born. Ladies and gentlemen, during that time, Plato himself, he stated and he quoted that, the purpose of education and the power of education is the transformation of values. And I think this is an idea that has been forgotten over time. The power and the purpose of education is to transform values. And what are values to begin with? Values, these are the beliefs and the motivations that you know they dictate our actions and the things that we do. We have individual values, you and I. We have societal values. And lastly, I want to talk about continental values. What us as a country, as a continent, as Africa, what are the values, what are our motivations, our beliefs, the things that are going to dictate our actions going forward. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm saying that our academic institutions and our experts have forgotten the true power of education, and that is to transform the values of people. When we talk about countries like Japan or China, we talk about those people when we say that they're hardworking, they're quality oriented, they're disciplined, they're punctual and all of that. This, is, this isn't something that we attribute to them due to their genetics. These are their values. 